Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to Windows Server Beginner Series. In today's video, we will see the steps on how to deploy a PowerShell script using group policy object. It's often very useful to run a batch file or PowerShell script when the computers log on and this script could be deployed using Windows Server group policy from a central place. You could set up a startup script to achieve different functionality or to achieve different targets. For example, you can set up a startup script to map all of the drive again when computers start up or you can set a startup script to start any service when the computer starts up like outlook word or any other service or software you need to start on every startup you can set up this script to run on startup shutdown or sign in or sign out please note that the procedure for configuring this script will be the same for every script you want to set up via group policy before beginning we have to make sure that we have a powershell script that is working perfectly fine and then we can deploy that powershell script using group policy object so i have set up a powershell script here to start a microsoft word on the startup of computer and i have this powershell script this will create a scheduled task in class scheduler right that will run at every startup and we start Microsoft Word. So let's first go ahead and test the script. Um, run Windows PowerShell IAC as an administrator here. And let's first test the script by running into PowerShell here. Hit enter. It's doing the process and it's saying this. Schedule task start word created to start Microsoft Word at startup. So let's go ahead and task scheduler. Let me show you how we can check in task scheduler from the beginning. Go to task scheduler, open it, and let's find the script here. Start word. Right. This will run uh, at provided timing the time we will provide here we can change the timing by going to properties but here we just want to confirm that this script is working right let's manually test it first then we will deploy it via group policy you see i ran this script and this opened the world immediately see yeah now we are 100 percent confirmed with our script that script is working perfectly fine. So let's go to our server, open up the PowerShell. PowerShell IAC run as administrator here because we have to set up or deploy the script from our Windows server. So let's paste the script here. In Go here and we want to save as. Sorry, let's paste here. Right, and now you can go to save this script. Uh, let's save it uh, on the C drive of the server. Okay, in the C drive, I want to name it start word. Okay. And I want to save it here. Let me minimize the screen of PowerShell and double check in a script in C drive. Yes, I will deploy this script via group policy to start work at every startup. Okay, so for deploying the script, let's go ahead and open group policy management. Go to a tool section and go to group policy management. Okay let's go to group policy object and new here we want get power shell script okay let's find the gpo we just have created power shell script and go to edit now as uh, i defined you in the beginning that we can set up 
the script for when user sign in or sign out or the user log on or log off the computer as the script will be applied to the user so in this example we will create user logon script and we will also create our organizational unit to deploy the script to that specific organizational unit and we can later on add users to that specific organizational unit in the user configuration section click on the policies window setting and then script on the script section right click on the logon and go to properties so from here we have to select uh, the powershell script we have set up on the desktop but please note that you can add the script to a share folder on the server right you can share this script from share folder of the server if you want to deploy that this script like that way let's 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 create a folder for this okay ds script we are going to share this folder right usually it's better to share a uh, script or add script location from a share folder into the group policy so go to properties go to sharing section hit share here and i want to share it with everyone hit share good so we could go to share folder uh, again uh, from the group policy so this was the important part of sharing uh, this folder script right you can share it from any other server as well but i have only one server here i have created a script here and i have shared it let's go back to group policy uh, in the logon go to properties let's cancel this and pick up the script again okay in the c drive we have a shared folder a powershell script and start word i'm adding this script i don't need any additional parameters to add here so i'm all set and let it okay and apply so this script policy have been applied from the server right so let me show you if you want to deploy this script to specific ou then go to active directory users and computer here i want to create new ou for my powershell script and i don't want to protect it because this is test ou i will delete it later on so powershell logon script okay so hit okay here i got the powershell logon script and i can add users here later on to deploy this script let's go back to group policy management and here we have powershell logon script and now we can link our created group policy where we have deployed the script here so let's find powershell script here and it's now linked powershell logon script organizational unit so once you added a user into uh, the organizational unit logon script they will get the script deployed on their computers when they log on and what this script is doing let me show you again for your double confirmation that this script is creating a task that will start a startup and that will start microsoft word right on the logon let me show you if i run here and see this started a word microsoft word for me so once you have deployed this script simply open command prompt and go to your computer as well and run gp state slash force run this command both on servers and on your computers so that's it about today quality tutorial thanks for watching
keep watching and don't forget to subscribe bye